Now we can start doing 2.4. First sum is determine determine which of the following polynomial has x plus 1 of factor. Determine which of the following polynomial has x plus 1 is a factor. First polynomial px is x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. Determine which of the following polynomial has x plus 1 is a factor. So we should find out p of minus 1. If p of minus 1 is 0 here, I can say that x plus 1 is a factor of px, otherwise not. What is p of minus 1? Minus 1 cube plus minus 1 square plus minus 1 plus 1. It is minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So x plus 1 is a factor of px clear. Now another sum with different color I will take. Another qx is given as x raised to 4 plus x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. Here also whether x plus 1 is a factor or not, I should find out q of minus 1. If q of minus 1 is 0, I can say that x plus 1 is a factor of qx. Minus 1 raised to 4 plus minus 1 cube plus minus 1 square plus minus 1 plus 1. So it is 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. So 1, 1, 1, 3, 3 minus 2. It is 1. It's not 0. Therefore, x plus 1 is not a factor of qx. Clear? Clear? Now, third sum. Third is, I call it as a rx. rx is given as x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed plus 3x square plus x plus 1. You check here. x plus 1 is a factor of rx or not. Come on, check it. And fourth sum is, I call it a tx. tx is x cube minus x square minus 2 plus root 2 into x plus root 2. Here you also you have to check t of minus 1 is 0, then x plus 1 is a factor of tx. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. See, find out r of minus 1. Have you calculated r of minus 1? Minus 1 raised to 4 is plus 1. Minus 1 cube is minus 1, so minus 3. Minus 1 square is plus 1, so plus 3. Minus 1 plus 1. So this, this go away. This, this go away. What is left? 1. So not 0. So x plus 1 is not a factor of rx clear. This is first one. This is second one. This is third one. This is fourth one. Come on, do it. Now fourth. Find out p of Minus 1. Minus 1 cube is minus 1. Minus minus. Minus plus minus. Minus 1 square is plus 1. Minus minus plus. 2 plus root 2 because x is minus 1. So this minus is going to become plus. Plus root 2. So it is minus 2 plus 2 plus root 2. Hmm? Here is minus. No plus ho gaya plus root 2. It's not 0. Therefore, x plus 1 
is not a factor of tx clear x plus 1 is not a factor of tx so x plus 1 is only a factor of px right determine which of the following polynomial has x plus 1 as a factor only px let us see the answer are we getting it or not 2.4 C. X plus 1 is a factor of 1, but not a factor of 2nd, 3rd and 4th. We are right. Now, sum number 2. Little bit difficult. Second sum of uh, 2.4 is, use factor theorem to determine whether gx is a factor of px in each of the following cases clear? You have to check whether gx is a factor of px or not. First sum I am doing, other you will try at home. In next lecture we are doing more sum. 2x cube plus x square minus 2x minus 1 and gx is x plus 1. Very simple. Equate with 0, x is minus 1. So if p of minus 1 is 0, it is a factor otherwise not p minus 1 is minus 2, plus 1, plus 2, minus 1. It is 0. Therefore, gx is a factor of px. Clear? Clear? Same way, you are given px is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. And gx is x plus 2. I should equate x plus 2 with 0. Find out zeros of gx. x is minus 2. Check p of minus 2 is 0 or not. If it is 0, it is a factor. Minus 2 cube is minus 8. Plus 3 into 4 is 12. Minus 6 plus 1. It is minus 14 and plus 13. So it is minus 1, not 0. Therefore, gx is not a factor of px clear clear now third one you try at home I am giving you first second and third px is x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 6 and gx is x minus 3. So x minus 3 is 0, so x is 3. Find out p3. If p3 is 0, then x minus 3 is a factor. If p3 is not 0, x minus 3 is not a factor. Come on, do it. 27 minus 36. Plus 3 plus 6. Hmm? 27 plus 9. 36. And that is also 36. So, 0. P3, you get it? 3 cubes, so 27. Minus 9, 4, 36. Plus 3, plus 6. Is it coming 0? Yes. Therefore, GX is a factor of PX. Karpe karne ko deti hu, baad mein mai karwa deti hu aapko. Right? But, at least, each and every sum of textbook I am doing. So, at least, you should try for, from Adi Sharma, Agrawal, do more and more practice. It will make you perfect. Right? In even illustration, whatever left, you are supposed to do it. Exercise each and every sum I am doing. Then we are going to do 
few important sums from ID also after completion of textbook, okay? And the questions, tricky questions or twisted questions from ID we are going to do it after completion of 2.5, okay? Now sum number 3, 4 and 5. Today you will try in next lecture we will complete 2.4 and then we start doing some algebraic identities and by el using those algebraic identities I am going to find out some products some multiplication I am going to do directly some factorization can be done by using those identity okay so exercise 2.5 is a big big exercise okay 2.5 there are round about 16 sum and before that 3 4 illustration are also very important okay so still 2 3 lectures we required for textbook and then ID so all together 2.5